Okay, Jez Beer Reviews, Beera Moretti. Beera Moretti, this is an Italian brewed beer uh, for Heineken. It's 4.6% ABV. This one's in a brown bottle. There was some in green bottles there for a bit of sea, but this one is in a brown. As you can see, uh, we're a 330 ml bottle, and like I said, 4.6% ABV. Now, this is a lager. So we'll brew it all the way in Italy. Pop the cap into the glass. Okay, we've got some exciting reviews coming up too. Uh, you watch that uh, BMR video that I just posted before. Uh, exciting times coming ahead for the channel, thanks to Swill and Grog. Righto, so what have we got? Uh, nice, clear, golden appearance. Yeah, nice one, uh, one through of head, and it's pretty tight bubbles, and that will hang around. Now, I paid $39.95 for a cart of this. That uh, would be Dan Murphy's here in Australia. Uh, very cheaper than midstream beer. I don't know why it's so cheap. It's in date for a fair while, so um, it's just a good buy. Uh, smell. Very deceit, very European lager. Uh, smells nothing, nothing unappealing by the aroma. Just a nice lager aroma. Righto, the taste. Cheers. I've been having a few of these the last few days. A couple of nights and the flavour is just um, very satisfying. Obviously pairs well with uh, would be pastas and all that. That would go great. But um, you hear a few reviewers talk about the brady element. It's very brady. Uh, it's got a nice little zing of bitterness, and it finishes pretty crisp, pretty dry. Uh, even as it warms up, the flavour still. I sit on it for a little bit, and the flavour still very decent. Got a light to medium uh, body. I've heard people talk about a metal twang. There's none of it in this bottle that I'm tasting. Like I said, this one's actually uh, <clears throat> with a lot of beers that are brewed on license, like Heineken and all that in Australia and Peroni. This one's actually brewed in Italy. And like I said, it's a Heineken brand. They own it these days. As you can see, the pretty famous uh, label. The brewery's been around a long time. I think they did move premises to boost the um, to uh, boost the sales for it and, and expand it all over the world. Righto. Burmery. Pretty much what you're looking for in a Italian lager. I've only had I've had prone years ago. Now this is Australian brewed stuff, so I'm a little bit skeptical about that. Very satisfying beer, clean, fits the profile of a very tasty European lager. So, um, Italians make a good chainsaw and they make good beer. So, beer and ready, very uh, outstanding. I would believe it's an adjunct lager. We'll, we'll score it the adjunct lager. We'll call it a, a B. Plus. Very good, very tasty. You could even probably score higher, but we'll just go B plus for now. So thanks for watching this episode of Jazz Reviews. Till next time guys, I'll catch you later.